Hey everybody, we're at Yellowstone National Park for this episode of Manly Jobs. We're gonna teach you a little tiny bit about what it takes to work at a park, and maybe what you do at some place like this. But the most important part is we're gonna show you some of the sights and some of the benefits of working at a park, being in nature, natural resource jobs at its finest. Join us for this exciting episode right here on Manly Jobs. <laughs> On our journey through Yellowstone, we came up from Jackson Hole, Wyoming. This meant we got to see the Tetons and go through Teton National Park as well. This park should be savored with time we just didn't have for this trip. Then we hit the road, and we were in Yellowstone before we knew it. With only two days, we couldn't dilly-dally too much. We're sitting at Issa Lake at the Continental Divide. Part of it goes east toward the Yellowstone, Missouri, on the Mississippi. Part of it flows west toward the Snake River, Columbia River, Pacific Ocean. Fascinating. After watching this tour guide do her magic, we arrived at Old Faithful. I was so impressed by all the features here. Old Faithful isn't the only reason to stop here. After a bit of a wait, we saw what so many come here to see. What grandeur, definitely worth the wait. Here in the great state of Wyoming, there is so much to see. We were so lucky, it truly is a magical area. headed north with the colors of Grand Prismatic Spring on our mind. It did not disappoint. Final stop on day one was Mammoth Hot Springs. It can either be a short walk or a half day. Both are well worth the stop. Barrel Springs, it's right off the road. It's an easy walk. If you got little kids, you know, this is a, a great one for you. Don't miss out on this one.
geysers are amazing, but for many, the wildlife is the top reason to come to Yellowstone. Be smart, be careful, but enjoy these majestic animals. Bison in their natural habitat is one of the coolest things you may ever see. We even got to see a male mountain goat at the end of day one. wouldn't be complete if we didn't mention the jobs that we saw. Alpine Wyoming showed us a very unique thing. Hey, you never know what you're going to run into. And we just crossed the border into Wyoming and we're at like, it feels like a rendezvous. Uh, there's all kinds of different things here. And what it talks to me is, if you have a passion like shed hunting or being around, you know, different things in the, in the elements, find a job that fits you. These guys have found a job selling stuff that they find that fits them. We also got to see so many different examples of what a park ranger does, from being at the site as a guide to working the visitor centers, the variety will probably fit any personality. Construction and maintenance happens at the park as well. One of the more unique things we got to see at Yellowstone National Park was this bridge being constructed. Well, we didn't get to see the bridge, but we got to see some of the park moving down the road. When the roads were put in here in Yellowstone, I think they had in mind something this large coming down the road and making this corner. Hopefully this is the only stop sign that doesn't make it on this travel. Not all the sites here are thermal features. The waterfalls and canyons are as unique as anything you'll find all around the world. Being in Yellowstone was one of the greatest privileges I've ever had. I've looked forward to this trip my entire life. I hope you got a small idea of what jobs are available in a setting like this. And I hope you'll choose a career that puts you in a place like this for your future.